Hello. So I'm just giving it a hot, like full, like 30 seconds before I start chatting. Um, I don't even expect anyone to pop on because this was last minute, but this is like, I always say, I feel like a broken record. This is the easiest way for me to um, do a little newscast instead of and doing a video and uploading it. And I am sitting right in my kitchen with no soundproofing. So you may hear the outside. So there's many things that could go wrong, but I won't be here long. Hello. So I wanted to say hi because I am so excited for my Monday night chats um, to tell you my lineup of some new guests. So this Monday, Janine Marie is supposed to be joining me, but um, some things are going on in um, her world. So we might have to postpone it. We're not canceling. We might have to postpone. So I'm not sure. But I will say this, regardless if I have a guest or not this Monday, I will definitely be on live. Um, I have some things that I would like to discuss and, and do. So if you want to pop on on Monday night, I definitely will be there. It just might be that I won't have the guests that I had planned. But Janine Marie will be back if she is not there on Monday. And for those of you that don't know who Janine Marie is, um, you do. And I'll tell you all her handles and whatnot when she joins. But um, she also writes this magnificent fan fiction of Lucas and Elizabeth. It's amazing. And she also does these great graphics. Like she, she just did one just today that I saw um, of four men walking down the street, like they're ready for a gunfight. And she has the faces of the characters on there. It's amazing. She's great. She's a great quiet sense of humor too. Well, that that's what I say. And um, okay, so who else? Let's see who else is coming. So I'm so excited because October is looking to be like, whoa. <clears throat> so I am going to have two lovely sisters. And I want to make sure I get their, their um, tag, their um, handle right for Instagram. It's called Random Crafty Things. They are two sisters. They're young. They are beautiful artists. And they do all these cute things and gorgeous things. And I can't believe how young they are for When Calls the Heart. They have paintings, drawings, sewing. And I can't wait for them to come on because their perspective on things is beautiful. And I can't wait to like pick their brain and analyze and, and see what they have to share. And it's always so nice. Hi, Candace. It's always so nice to see different perspectives, male, female, those who don't are not gender specific, those um, who are, you know, from 18 and younger, like my niece, she watches and she's only 10. Um, it's also fun to see older generations and how they feel and what their take is on things, because I think we all bring our own perspective. So I'm very excited to have them on. Their names are Emma and Beth. And if you're on Instagram, follow them. They're followed by um, Paul Green and by jo Joanna. So it is called Random Crafty Things. So check them out and they will be my guests. And then I am super excited to announce that Patty Bird will be my guest. So she's Brian Bird's wife, and that's not her only identity. <laughs> and she's going to uh, chat with us, share some stuff about her personal life, and um, talk a little bit about when calls the heart as much as she can. And that will be, we're shooting for October 25th, which I'm not, it's not like quite sure that's the exact date, but I will keep you updated on it. So I have some, I want to stop for a minute just to see. Candace says, hello, Roxanne. I hope you're having a great Saturday. I am. I'm going to lunch with a friend and I'm applying for a job through her company. Well, you know what, Candace, if it's okay with you, I will pray for you to make sure that um, you do a good job and all the talents and abilities that you have are conveyed at your lunch. Okay, I'm going to leave for lunch too soon. Okay, so um, the next thing I wanted to talk about was merchandise. I know we've talked about it so many times and we've had so many roadblocks waiting for permission, trying to do the right thing, which is ironic because I have a story about that. So um, we're very careful when I say we myself and then also I know that um, Chris McNally's fan page is very careful when it comes to copyright infringement. So um, I think the average person doesn't even realize what copyright infringement is. For example, let me tell you, 
there is this gorgeous picture of the church slash school of Wayne Calls the Heart across the pond. And the um, McGinnises who own um, the whole property have been taking pictures. They're on Instagram. And I loved one of them. And I said, may I have permission to take this picture and make a t-shirt for it myself? It would just be for myself. And you have to get permission for that. There are many people who take things right off of Instagram and wherever and then do whatever with it. So anyway, um, I did. They granted me permission. But I don't have permission to like make note cards or t-shirts and share them. So um, anyway, there's been a lot of hiccups along the way with merchandise and trying to do the right thing. So I do know I have it on good authority. Christina, I don't know if you're here, but she is the admin that, oh, there's my phone. She's the admin that runs the um, Chris McNally fan page. And I think they're picking up graphics today and t-shirts will be out soon. I don't know if it's this week or not, but um, I also have t-shirts. I have to, I have the graphics all set up for the fundraiser that we did um, for Chris McNally. It's still running. It's 25 the 2,500 plus almost to the goal of 3,000. So if you're interested in donating to Wagmore Pets in honor of Chris McNally's birthday, which is in November, it's still running. But t-shirts are gonna come out for that and hopefully some other merch. And it has the dogs on there, his kids, which is exciting. So I also wanted to take like a hot minute to talk about last, it was up for 12 hours. Last week, just to see how it would go, I used T Public, T-E-E -E Public, and I opened up a store with my own um, merchandise, which strictly was my logo. That's all that it was. Now, I, I made that. I just made that just to get something up there on YouTube. And eventually I, you know, will change that and make it more professional. But um, I put it up just to let it float and see how it went. Of course, my family, they were do they dove in and bought up all kinds of stuff. And other people did because you get um, notifications for it. And then the next thing I know in less than 12 uh, hours, it was shut down because somebody reported it at, to T Public and said that it was copyright infringement. <laughs> what did I copyright infringe myself? I don't know. So it was just some nastiness, which is not important. But um, the point is that on T Public, you have to be careful what you are buying and anybody can report anyone. So if you are thinking of using that to using T Public as an outlet to sell something, even if it's for a fundraiser, know that anyone could go in at any time and say to T Public that you um, are um, infringing on copyright and they will shut your store down. They will not investigate it. There's no one to call. So I would think of a different avenue. Cafe Press, you can call. I've talked to them. They're lovely. You can set up fundraisers through them and it just takes out the, the whole thing of you having to ship merchandise and stuff like that. So which brings me to um, the fundraiser I already talked about, which brings me to my tea. So I did a video, I don't know if you saw it, about friendship tea, and I'm calling it Mick Friendship Tea. And I have a tea tin and a little gift, and it's all decorated in a certain way. And I said, if you would like some, I would ship it to you. And many of you said you would like some, and I have, I've been building my list. I'm literally going to show you one of my lists really fast. So I've been building the list if you emailed me. If you don't email me, I don't know how to send it to you. There is no shipping and handling. There is no cost. There is no charge. So friendship tea is called friendship tea. It could be anything. It could be any flavor, however you want to make it, because you make so much of it, and then you share it with your friends. And then there's enough that you will get that you could share with a friend, and you can have a cup of tea together. So that's the whole fun of it. So if you are one of those who said, yes, you would like some tea, but you have not emailed me, and my email is in the description. So you'll see the video, and if you're on YouTube, you go down and the description is there. There's a description on every single video that's posted, even the chats. And then my um, email address is there. You have to email me so I know where to ship it, okay? And I think that is it. If no one has any questions or any comments, um, that I'll be done. This is my chat. I'm gonna go out to lunch. Candace, I hope you enjoy your lunch. As soon as the chat is over, I will say a prayer for you. And um, I'm gonna go. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't believe I forgot this. This is so important. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Um, Kathy Watkins, who joins me, and she's joined me on two chats, and she talks and analyzes the scene. She's like so into details. She has agreed at your request. 
she has agreed to join me as a regular once the season nine starts on Monday, and we will be reviewing the episodes and you can all join in. So um, that is coming. I'm so excited about that. How could I forget that? Okay. Now for real, this is goodbye. If you don't want to say goodbye or say anything in the chat, I know there's a delay. So I'll hang out for like one hot minute and then I'm going to go. Okay. Have a good one. I'm going to take a sip. Look, this mug. Look at that. Me. Oh, hi, Gladys. Hello. It's almost time to hang up <laughs> or, or go away or shut down, whatever the term is. Oh, goodness. I've had a week, let me tell you. We're negotiating a contract. Oh, my gosh. I'm, like, so exhausted. Okay. All right. I am going to shut off right now. Thank you. Have a good Saturday.